Hey, and welcome back once again to Ancient Ways for Modern Days. My name is Mike Freeman. Thanks for joining me. Welcome back after we took a week off last week. I hope that uh, hope that your Thanksgiving was wonderful. I hope that as you've begun the Advent season, it is full of peace and joy as you're remembering the, the great truth of Jesus and his incarnation, his first Advent into the world. And today, our text, it's not so much dealing with the advent of Christ, but it's dealing with the the truth that advent ultimately leads us to. In fact, our our text today is potentially an early Christian hymn that was used in worship. and, And this is a beautiful, beautiful text that reminds us of some fundamental truths about Christ and about the gospel. So let me show you our text and let's dive right in. Here's our text, 2 Timothy chapter 2, verses 11 through 13. The Apostle Paul, writing to Timothy, he says this. He says, The saying is trustworthy, for if we have died with him, we will also live with him. If we endure, we will also reign with him. If we deny him, he also will deny us. If we are faithless, he remains faithful, for he cannot deny himself. Now, this is such a wonderful text, and and to show you the beauty of the truth this conveys, let me just walk you through it line by line. The Apostle Paul begins, the saying is trustworthy. There's a saying that has been circulating in the early church and in circles that the Apostle Paul is familiar with, potentially in these church gatherings as, as a hymn that was sung. And here it is. He says, if we have died with him, we will also live with him. This is speaking of faith. This is speaking of trusting in Christ. When we trust in Christ, our old life is buried with Christ and a new life begins. We now have a brand new life. The old life is dead and the new life has begun. This is a great truth and this is really the expression of our our trust in Jesus and his death and resurrection. We are unified with Christ. We are united with Christ by faith. Verse 12. If we endure, we will also reign with him. This is recognizing that in following Christ, there is a call to endurance. Following Jesus is, it's not a cakewalk. It is difficult. When you follow Christ, you will be called to do hard things, to walk in a way that is unlike the rest of the world. You will be called to sacrifice. You will be called to to mending relationships that are broken and, and leading out in that. You will be called to all sorts of difficult things. Sometimes Christians are called to even laying their lives down. And it's a call to endurance. And this recognizes that when we suffer with him here on earth, that we will share in his glory eternally. The second part of verse 12, if we deny him, he also will deny us. This is the, this is the description of an apostate, someone who's spent time around Christian circles and said Christian things and, and been near the, the church and, and maybe even they professed faith, but they haven't actually had a, a conviction of trust in the gospel. And so they've come to a spot like Jesus describes in one of his parables where they're like the seed that's scattered along the, the stony ground or along the weeds that initially it sprouts up. But when the cares and concerns of the world or when the difficulties and persecutions of following Jesus, when they enter into that person's life, they apostatize, they turn from Christ, they don't cling to Christ, they, they actually don't have a faith in Christ. They deny Christ, and in that, Christ will deny them. But let me, let me direct your, your attention to verse 13 in the true believer. Verse 13 says, If we are faithless, he remains faithful, for he cannot deny himself. See, there's a difference. There, there's a, a world of difference between verse 12 and verse 13. Verse 12 is the person who has denied Christ. They say, I don't, I don't want Christ. I don't need Christ. I tried that Christian thing. It didn't work for me. Verse 13 is the person who is in Christ. They have trusted in Christ and they have sinned. They have, they have done the wrong thing. They have acted in selfishness and greed and lust and anger and pride and, and laziness, whatever it might be. They have done the wrong thing and in doing that, they recognize their faithlessness. But look what Paul says. If we are faithless, he, Jesus, remains faithful. 
Why? Because he cannot deny himself. The character of Christ, the finished work of Jesus Christ, covering the sins of those who have trusted in him, it is secure. He cannot deny himself, and he has saved you by his work. Which means, even in the moments of your struggle, even in the moments of your sin, he cannot deny himself. He remains faithful. And you, brother or sister, by faith are secure in him. May this let you have peace today. May this lead you to rejoice today. May you today know the grace of Jesus, even the grace that he extends in our faithlessness. And may you find that grace to be abundant. For this is our ancient way for our modern day.